Hey guys, um, in this session we're going to be covering integrating quotients. Um, Alright, let's get started here. Now, sometimes you get a fraction where you've got two functions, one function over the other function, and you might see it that looks like this, where the denominator will end up being f of x, and then in the numerator, you're going to see the differentiation of whatever is in the denominator. All right. If you ever see that case, then basically that, when you integrate it, you will actually end up getting ln of f of x plus c. Uh, it's a bit hard explaining with f dash of x and f of x, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you with an example, all right, and hopefully you get the hang of it. So here's an example. We want to determine the integral of 3x squared divided by x cubed plus 4. Now what you'll notice is... We can say the denominator is, at, I mean, we can write it as f of x. So we could say f of x equals x cubed plus 4. Now, f dash of x would then be the differentiation of that, which is simply 3x squared. And from this point, what you should notice is 3x squared is in the numerator. x cubed plus 4 is in the denominator. So this is what we were talking about earlier. So we write... We write down we write down the formula. Where was it? There it is. And as you can see, if you ever get a situation where you have uh, two functions in the numerator and denominator, and the de numerator is the differentiated function of the denominator. So that's what happens in this case. So we could simply say that this is equal to ln of the denominator, because the denominator then would be x cubed plus for the absolute value of it, and of course, don't forget your plus c. Now, just to check, if I differentiate ln of x cubed plus 4 plus c, I should end up with my original answer in the back here. So that's what I'm going to do very quickly. All right, guys, so I just want to check that when I differentiate ln of x cubed plus 4, I'm going to get the same as what I started off with. So if I differentiate ln of x cubed plus 4, uh, since it's an ln function, I'm going to get 1 divided by x cubed plus 4. And that's multiplied by the differentiation of whatever's inside the ln bracket. Well, in this case, it's x cubed plus 4. If I differentiate it, I would get 3x squared, which means y dash is actually equal to 3x squared divided by x cubed plus 4. Now, what would happen to the c? Well, when, when you differentiate c, c will become 0. And as you can see, there we go. Sorry about that. As you can see, this uh, final answer is what we originally started with. All right, so have a look at one more example. In this case, I want to determine e of x divided by e of x minus 1. So what I'm going to do as usual is, well, I can kind of see that when I differentiate e of x, I'm going to get e of x. And of course, differentiating minus 1 would become 0. So I know that in this case, it's going to work out. So f of x would be e of x minus 1. And f dash of x would equal e of x. Okay, putting it back into that formula. Well, before I do that, I just want to show you guys e of x in the numerator and e of x minus 1 in the denominator. Now putting this in the formula. So there's our formula there. And straight away, you can see that it's just ln of f of x. So our answer for this, when we integrate e of x divided by e of x minus 1, would be ln of absolute value of e of x minus 1 plus c. Now, guys, um, you can check this quickly. If you differentiate ln of e of x minus 1, you should end up with uh, what you originally started with. Uh, and I think it's a good habit to have with integration is that, you know, anytime you integrate something is you kind of quickly differentiate it just to see that you've actually got the right answer. All right. Okay, that's all from this session. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys got most of uh, integrating quotients here. Anyway, thanks for watching.